you know, being Italian, I've often considered myself offensive to bisexual people. It's not sexual attraction, just everything. There are very few men and women. No. So a brilliant girl with green hair who actually believed that there was a gender dichotomy uh, came out and explained this issue. Guess what? F my patience has run out. I have seen pansexual people, both of them, they're performing. I've had it with you guys. Jesus f I've got to process that and try to explain it. She's obviously wrong about everything here. But actually, that's not a problem because we're going to tolerate all of these things. But I think what she's trying to say is that the people who have sort of quirky uh, ways of seeing the world, they're people with autism. The pansexual people and the bisexual people have totally different neurodivergent people. And we're going to add another complication here that they're completely incompatible and contradictory. They actually prefer people with autism. They prefer the specificity. So that's, you got to be tolerant of that too. But the problem is you can't, uh, education is not going to solve this problem. You can't simultaneously have the problem being what John Oliver does or what John Stewart did, right? They would just, just scream an expletive which is, I believe it's a euphemism for incompatible visions. It's a, you know, babies aren't babies. Uh, we need to radically redefine marriage or whatever. The F, you know, come on, what the F or whatever. I am proud though of the destruction. In the spirit of Pride Month, I want you to know, you know, being Italian, I've often considered myself a pansexual. You get some nice fatty meats frying up in there. Oh man, that gets, that gets my motor running, baby.